All right, so in this video, we're going to look at how to get started with the Pascal Python library um, and how to start using um, a Pascal sensor to collect data. So um, again, I'm going to start off with the on the Pascal downloads page um, and the Python page in particular. And here, if I scroll to the bottom, um, it says view us on GitHub to view instructions. So uh, before doing this, you want to make sure that you have Python version 3.7 and 3.10 installed. You want to make sure your computer has Bluetooth. Um, this works on Windows, Mac, or Linux. So um, you know, as long as you're on one of those devices, you should be fine. And you want to make sure you have an IDE installed. Um, I'm using VS Code. Um, PyCharmer is another popular one, or you can have uh, another one of, of your choice. So if I go to the uh, our GitHub page here, I have it open in another tab. Um, again, just to verify, to install the Python package, you need to type in this command into your terminal. So pip install pasco. Um, and your terminal is, uh, your editor should have a terminal, your IDE. Um, I have VS Code open here. And uh, if I, in order to open up the terminal, I can just click on view and click terminal. And again, pip install pasco. Uh, that's all I need to type in, and um, it'll go ahead and install Pasco, the Pasco package. All right, so now that that's done, um, if I want to verify that it was installed, I can type in pip list. And it could be a long or short list, depending on your, um, your setup. But here in this list, if I scroll up, I can see I have Pasco 0.3.44. As of the recording of this video, that's the latest version. All right, uh, the other thing I wanna make sure again is uh, if I wanna, I wanna make sure I have the Python Visual Studio um, extension installed and I can click on extensions here on the left, type in Python at the top and install the one that has this check mark with uh, Microsoft here. Um, again, it has uh, over 49 million downloads, so that's the right one. Okay, uh, so to get started with the code, we're, we're going to do is um, just copy paste some example code from, uh, the GitHub page. Uh, in order to do that, I need a place where I'm going to be pasting the code. So I need to create a new file. So I'm going to go to File, New File. And I need to save this file. So Save As. And I'll save it on my desktop and I'll just call it Python example1.py. The .py is very important because that's what um, lets Visual Studio know that, hey, this is a Python file. And watch what happens when I go into save. The icon here changes to this Python logo. So that you know, tells us that it's a uh, Visual Studio knows it's a Python file. I can also verify that on the bottom right. Um, it has this language mode it already detected it as Python. And on the bottom left here, um, this is where um, it's, it knows which Python version to install. So if I, again, if you have some kind of error here or it might say select Python interpreter, just click on that button and then click on um, the 3.10 or uh, whatever version you have on your computer. And that's the version that um, we're going to be using to, to run our code. So I have a, a file set up, I have Python connected and, um, and installed. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to our GitHub page. If I scroll towards the bottom, um, I'm going to copy this example. It says example one, it's a one shot read. What that means is we're going to connect to a temperature sensor and just get one data value. I'm going to copy this by clicking on this copy button, or I could highlight it as well. I'll go over back to Visual Studio Code, right click and paste. And take a look what happens as soon as I, I'm going to go ahead and save this, but uh, did you see the color of the text went from white to um, started to be more colorful? And that's what that extension that we installed um, from here on the left does. Is it um, the text of Python coder and just makes adds color to it to make it easier to read. So um, at the top here, I'm importing the, the Pasco library and I'm going to be using a Pasco BLE device. That's what um, a, a regular sensor is going to be. Um, and this next line here, um, it says connect by ID. So here I need to type in the six digit ID that's on my temperature sensor. Um, and what that does is uh, it 
it'll automatically just connect to this sensor when I start the code. There's other ways or other commands you can type in to maybe search for a sensor. Um, you can find those examples on the GitHub page. So again, for the connect by ID, I'm going to type in the ID of my wireless sensor. Okay. Uh, the next line here, it says, uh, let's see, temp sensor dot read data. So our variable is called temp sensor and the variable is, is that's what I'm calling. Anytime I interact with this device, I'm going to use this temp sensor variable. Um, and it's called a variable because it's, it's just a place in memory that, you know, it, it knows, hey, anytime, uh, you know, whenever we're talking about this sensor, this is what we call it, temp underscore sensor. You can call your variable whatever you like. So I'm going to say, hey, for my temp sensor, I want to read data. And the data I want to read is temperature. And um, the way I know it's temperature is there's, uh, again, you know, in, in another video, I'll show you how to do a more advanced example. But uh, for this case, let's just, you know, we know it's temperature reading. So let's go ahead and keep that there. And once we read the data, we want to save that uh, into another variable called temp value. And the next line is I want to print that temp value. So I want to show it to the user on the screen here. And um, again, our code is running from top to bottom. So as soon as we're done, after we show it, then the next step, it says disconnect. So it's only just going to show the value one time. So let's go ahead and run this just to make sure it works. So my sensor's on, um, the red LED is blinking. I can click on this run button at the top right. And you can see at the bottom here, there, uh, my computer is doing some, some dance moves. It's, uh, it's jumping around. Um, let's see. Because the cursor is all the way to the left here, we, it, we know it's running the code. So it's connecting to the sensor. It, it got the one data and then disconnected. And um, yeah, that's how to do a quick example on how to read data from the temp sensor. Um, just to show you one more example, we can also display the units. So I'm going to just copy paste this code here. Once I paste the code, let me go ahead and change the ID here. So 343-368. And let me go ahead and run the code by clicking on the run button on the top right. And again, we can see at the bottom, our code is running. And it should get that temperature measurement along with the unit. It displays it. And then the next line, it disconnects. And that's how to get um, data from our temp sensor using Python. And then anything from here, once the user has the data, they can start um, you know, interacting with other plugins or maybe doing a loop to go ahead and run this code multiple times to get multiple data points. Um, from here, it's pretty much up to the user what they want to do once they um, have data in once they have commanded their data from our temperature sensor. So thank you again for watching. Um, hope to see you in the next video to see a more advanced example.